I've been painting for just as long as I can remember, really, but mainly just in school. I always just would randomly doodle designs and stuff like that. And then when I started skating, my friends and I started painting on grip and it just evolved. My teachers would let me work kind of on my own projects. Once I got to like an advanced state, they knew that I was so into it, I would just kind of do my own thing. So I made paper mache sculpture of like a BX 1000, but mainly drawing and painting was, was the one that I was really interested in. And then, you know, it goes kind of hand in hand with skating. So it never really stopped. I look at everything very differently now after having done a mural. And so I would just, I just kind of kept mentioning it to Chase, like what's up with that wall. And I love all the art in the barracks and it's, you know, a good place to have a mural because there's just skateboarders and all sorts of different walks of life, going in there and skating and hanging out and seeing it. So I've always been inspired by those murals and figured if there was a, you know, a chance to do one, I just kind of kept saying, you know, do you think it's possible to paint, paint that wall? Yeah, it's nice to work on like such a big scale compared to I usually work on like skateboards and grip tape. So it's so detailed, you know, it'd be like this much, but working on a big scale is really fun for me because it's so different. I've recently developed kind of the style of just doing abstract outlines of faces and characters and eyes and skaters and what I call pushers over, you know, aesthetically pleasing colors. When I posted a couple skateboarders with a similar design, people were like, oh, I love this style. So I kind of just decided to run with that since people were, were really into it writing for Crooked and being pro from. I still feel really lucky and blessed to have graphics come that Gons, you know, is drawing and as you can see on the walls and stuff. I asked Gons to make one with my van because I lived in my van for four years. Yeah, I'm really into Gons. I was, I like Keith Haring a lot. My original favorite artist was MC Escher, which is like real, like crazy and trippy. And I was always fascinated by, by his work. This one. No matter how many ways you look at it, it always looks like making sense. Like every way it makes sense. Working on such a big scale, I feel like imperfections can kind of make it cooler. And so I just ended up freehanding it because like the brush stroke kind of gave it like a, a fuzzy outline on a lot of them, which I like. And it's, you know, like I said, imperfections, I feel like can kind of make it a little more authentic. Skateboarding inspired my art, I think just because it started with the grip. And art is such a big part of graphics, and I feel like there could be so many more ways to incorporate art into a video part, you know? And a lot of people are doing animation now, which is super cool, and there's just like endless possibilities to combine the two, but they definitely both inspire each other and kind of like keep the other one progressive for me. A lot of my style is just kind of like going for it. I would look around and then paint something I saw, a stair or quarter pipe. So a lot of it's related like to the barracks, which I think is cool too that it's in there because you can see something and then maybe see that I was looking in the corner to, to paint a replica of that. Yeah, I used the three acrylic colors and then let that dry and then just kind of winged it with the outline too. Just a lot of skaters, a lot of movement so you can look at it and everybody can see something different or something pop out. Yeah, it took my time. I'm really, I'm really proud of how it came out. That initial going through the door is like, wow, it's an honor to, to be up there.